Hi there, Psych2Goers. When you pause to take a look, there are people all around you that you can count on. But do you still feel like no one is there for you? Do your relationships make you feel more alone due to difficulty communicating? If you'd rather be alone than to be with people who make you feel this way, chances are you may be feeling lonely. Loneliness at old age is often heard of, but young people are not completely exempt from it either. A survey found that students aged 18 to 22 have the highest levels of loneliness, and being a student is heavily associated with high scores on the Cigna US Loneliness Index. Oh. With that said, here are some tips to combat your loneliness. Number one, find a safe circle to engage with. Do you have a hobby you're fond of? One way to combat loneliness is to find a safe circle that you can engage with on a regular basis. This circle can be anything. It can be a volunteer group, hiking buddies, a nonprofit organization, or an online support group. When you take up the chance to meet up with new people, you will find yourself less lonely, enjoy camaraderie and friendships. Number two, find a balance of people versus things. Do you hardly find the time to do things that are enjoyable to you? Are you looking to achieve a better balance between work and personal priorities? Building relationships requires finding a balance between the two. To invest in new relationships and make time for current friends, one must take time to pause and reflect. The key to building authentic relationships and reducing loneliness is to find the perfect balance of time. Quality use of your time can help tackle the unbalance caused by stress and loneliness. Number three, audit your friends. Even with your group of friends, do you still feel lonely deep down? Do you feel like everyone seems to get along well with each other except you? Perhaps you hide your true self, rooted in fear of not being accepted by others around you. Maybe you don't open up to people because you feel insecure about certain aspects of your personality. Another reason can be that you try hard to be perfect, so your imperfections never get accepted. It could be that you never give other people a chance to accept or reject you. Reflecting on these reasons can help you find your sense of self-concept and self-value. Audit your circle of friends so that it is aligned with who you truly are. It is incredibly empowering to realize that you can be your authentic self and people don't mind. Number four, get a pet or spend time with someone else's. As the founding father of psychology once said, time spent with cats is never wasted. You might have moved to a new town and are struggling to find a circle of friends. Perhaps most social gatherings are prohibited. You can consider getting a pet. When you interact with the furry little pet, your brain releases the neurotransmitter dopamine, the happy hormone of your body. This can help activate the pleasures and reward centers of the brain when you are feeling the blues of loneliness. A walk with your dog or a trip to the vet can also serve as a chance to start up a conversation with other pet owners. Number five, check your social media usage. Now, let's evaluate your social media usage. Do you use it to make meaningful connections or do you spend too much time on it? Do you feel dissatisfied with face-to-face -face relationships to the point that you find yourself retreating into the world of social media? Perhaps when you are scrolling your social media feed, it looks as if other people have better jobs, better houses, and better relationships than we do. Therefore, if you feel that your social media is dragging you down, opting for temporary screen detox or trying to selectively curate your feed can help you to feel less lonely instead of making you feel the opposite. The most important thing to note is that loneliness is a feeling inside of you, not what people perceive about you. As Mandy Hale puts it, a season of loneliness and isolation is when the caterpillar gets its wings. When you feel lonely, realize that what you feel is temporary, just like the caterpillar. During the time it is in isolation and loneliness, it is growing inside this chrysalis and turns into a majestic butterfly with wings. Do you recognize any of these signs? If so, do you think this video helped you identify them? Feel free to leave a comment down below with your thoughts, experiences, or suggestions. If you find this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button and share it with those out there struggling with feelings of loneliness. Don't forget to subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell for more new videos. Thanks for watching.